I have a bonus video for you today. I wasn't gonna post a video, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've recently been having an obsession with handbags. I've been researching all types of brands. So I went to Tory Burch a couple days ago and picked up my first Tory Burch item. I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm so excited. I've been doing a lot of research on both luxury and contemporary brands. I'm only addressing this because I am a luxury high-end beauty channel, but the prices of luxury handbags versus luxury makeup, very, very different. <laughs> so while I definitely would love to do some luxury handbag unboxings for you here, most likely, most often, they will be contemporary. I love a contemporary purse brand though. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with Kate Spade Outlet coach outlet so yeah i love the contemporary brands as well i think contemporary brands can create such good quality bags sometimes even better than luxury brands if you do your research i've been doing a lot of research on purses and brands that create some of the best quality bags what the best values are and i stumbled across tory birch i have never owned anything from tory birch the brand honestly never interested me but I feel like I'm in this new phase of life, not only obviously living in a new city, but also just having my own adult money and it feels different, it hits different. So I came across a couple of purse YouTube channels, which have been my downfall, by the way, very, very dangerous. And they both said that Tory Burch is a banging contemporary brand. I walked into Tory Burch and I saw the perfect summer bag. I've been on the hunt for a summer bag that's kind of like a straw material that I could wear all summer that was really cute and I found the perfect bag so I wanted to share it with you today hopefully inspire you if you did not like Tory Burch before like I didn't maybe take a second look because they have some of the cutest handbags and shoes I don't know where I've been but let's do it so I'm gonna do the unboxing for you really quickly now this is a fake unboxing I've definitely opened this you thought I could wait but part of the reason why I love luxury you guys know is because I love unboxings and while this is a contemporary brand I did go to the boutique in the Adventura mall so I still got the nice unboxing for you guys and you know Tory Burch is like the more expensive of the contemporary brands they're obviously a fraction of the price compared to luxury which luxury purses by the way luxury brands in general have all kind of hiked their prices up to make them even more something that i can't justify right now so i'm excited to have this so it came in this cute little box as well double box nice and protected velvet okay and then drop that on the ground we have a nice dust bag love a dust bag even though i never use them and i know i should and i saw on a tiktok somebody use this charm as a necklace they put it on a chain i might have to do that and then are you ready this you guys remember it's the perfect summer bag i wasn't looking for a classic bag or anything i wanted something that would go with my summer outfits so i ended up with the Kira Crochet mini bag. And I just thought that this would be the perfect summer bag for me. We have the Tory Burch logo right here and you can see it is this kind of straw material. <laughs> Excuse my terrible purse review skills. I thought I would be good at it. Uh, truth be told, this is my second time filming this because I thought I could just turn the camera on and review this like a makeup product and know it like the back of my hand. I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to purses. I just know that I really like this. So this is available and in stock on the Tory Burch website right now for $498. And I just think it is so beautiful so here is what the back looks like i'm gonna get it closer just so that you can kind of see the detailing if you know how to crochet which i do this is literally the i think it's like the double crochet is what it's called i could be wrong but yeah it is so cute and i saw this online actually and i thought it was cute but i never thought i would pay 500 dollars for a purse like this but then i saw it in person and i thought it was beautiful in terms of the dimensions of this the height is five inches the length is seven and a half and the depth is 2.2 inches so this is a smaller purse i tend to go for smaller handbags because i am only four. 10 so big bags eat me alive so i always go for the smaller one though they do say this is big enough to hold a kindle paper white i don't own that so i cannot confirm that 
but it is a smaller bag and I'll show you what fits inside in a second. So the material on this is, hopefully I'm pronouncing this right, raffia, which is the outside. And then there is leather on the inside. It's not lined all the way through. You can see it, we have some fabric lining here, but this is where the leather is on the flap and then also where there are two card slots right here. So there's not too terribly much in the way of organization here, but it is small. But you do have two slots for cards. And then I love how this snap magnetic closure feels. It's strong enough to where I don't feel like it's going to fly open, but it's also easy enough to open for me. And what really sold me about this is I love, love, love the chain. I love a purse that has a chain strap. So this is really cute. Let me show you. I'm going to expose my kitchen to you guys. So here is what it looks on me for size comparison. Like I said, I am only 4'10". And I think this is the perfect little shoulder bag. It's pretty comfy, really excited. And then you can also make it just a regular crossbody as well. And this is the length of the chain on me. Unfortunately, it is not adjustable, which is something that I do normally look for in bags. But with it being the chain, I didn't have much choice. I just like the fact that I can make it a shoulder bag. But on me, this is not bad. For being so small, this is a pretty good length. I mean, I wish it was like just a bit higher, but I don't need it to be because I'm most likely going to wear it as a shoulder bag. But I like that I have this option and it looks so cute with like a summer dress or something. I would love that. And just so you know how you do this, it, it might take a little bit of practice. I always have to double think about it, but to get it to the double strap, you just pull this and then around and then you have the double strap. So this is the purse. Let me go grab my phone and I'll show you how my purse and stuff fits in it. So I see other purse review channels showing you this, so I'm copying them. I don't know what iPhone I have. <laughs> Sorry, but I have the biggest size, whatever the plus size is. So my phone does fit in here and there is some room. I have my card holder here that will fit. I have my AirPods. And so for me, this essentially is what I need. It's not going to overstuff the bag, but I'll just show you, does my vlogging camera fit? It's a bit fat, not gonna lie. So the camera is a bit extra. I can get it to fit, but I feel like I do have to kind of stretch the bag a little bit. It does fit though, but that's pushing it. That is only if I really, really am vlogging. <laughs> and I would take the AirPods out and probably keep my phone in my pocket. In that case, then the camera would absolutely fit. But there we go, this is my new Tory Burch bag. I wanted to share it in case any of you were also interested in contemporary and luxury handbags like myself. If you are a Tory Burch expert, what do I need to try? Because I'm super into their stuff now. I heard they are great quality, so I'm excited to dive in. The Kira line in particular, where this bag is from, so gorgeous, I'm dying for a leather one. Either a leather Kira or a YSL bag. <laughs> Two very different playing fields, but you guys, if I have money left over after paying taxes, I've been considering treating myself. I've been looking into Prada and YSL bags, so if you have any suggestions for those, let me know. I was thinking the Prada re-edition bags, the leather one, but I don't know if that's too trendy. I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on a trendy purse, so then I was thinking the YSLs are a little bit more classic. Let me know your thoughts if you're into luxury purses, but I'm excited about my newest summer bag, and I love that I'm in Florida so I can get more use out of this than I normally would in Maryland. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, interesting, you let me know. And I will have the link to it down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.